What is up guys, Mardkarn here, back again with another YouTube video, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make the best pure glass build in the game. Honestly, I think the pure glass is, honestly, probably one of the best center builds in the game. And uh, obviously you're going to have it uh, be rebounding as the primary skill, and the secondary skill is always going to be rebounding as well. And you can see the attributes on the left right here once I get there. There we go. Here's the attributes. But I'm going to focus on the badges right now. Hustle Rebounder is one of the best badges in the game, in my opinion. And uh, honestly, when it's paired with 99 uh, offensive and defensive rebound, it's going to help a ton. You're basically going to grab every single board that comes your way. Uh, another um, Hall of Fame badge that you have is Brick Wall, which is also super good because... Um, you're going to set some screens that are really tough to get through, and you're going to leave your teammates with some pretty wide-open shots, which are definitely going to help you to win the game. So, yeah. You also have Break Starter Hall of Fame, but I'm not really going to get too much into that because that's not really that great of a badge, but you have it on Hall of Fame. So, I mean, it's pretty good at Hall of Fame. So, uh, Bruiser is another Hall of Fame badge that you have. This one's going to be really good. Uh, you um, basically just wear the opponents down by uh, posting them up or they, them posting you up. You basically, like wear their stamina down and it really helps you a lot when you're trying to run the court and stuff when they're really tired and stuff too so that helps a lot especially when that's on Hall of Fame and the last Hall of Fame badge that you have is Putback King which is actually another really good badge and uh, basically you c when you just grab a rebound or you do like a tip slam or something like that you basically just have a better chance of it going in when you get the rebound so uh, yeah all those badges are gonna help a lot and uh, let's get on to the attributes Dunking and layups are just decent, which are the first two, and this is uh, pretty much what some people, um, what makes them not want to make this build, because uh, the dunking and layups don't seem too good, but they're good enough to get the job done, in my opinion, and uh, if you're a good player and you know when to shoot, and uh, you can pump fake all the time and do all these drop steps and stuff like that, uh, you'll be fine with the dunks and layups, they're pretty good. Uh, Mid-range actually is not bad. If you are wide open and uh, you have a pretty good release, you can hit pretty much most of your mid-range shots, which actually will help stretch the floor a little bit. And I like that about the pure uh, glass. I, I like that about them. Uh, the three-pointer, you're not going to worry about too much because you're not going to be shooting too many of those. Ball handling and passing don't really matter too much either because you're not going to really ball handle that much. Passing is actually pretty decent. I mean, when you kick out after you get a rebound, uh, your passing is going to be pretty good. Rebounding, obviously, the main point of the build. 99 offensive and defensive rebound. That's going to help a ton, especially with the hustle rebounder that we already talked already. We already talked about already. And uh, steals and blocks are the next two. Those are just decent. I mean, the defense with the pure glass is pretty decent. It's not great, but it's uh, definitely not terrible. Uh, the vertical is completely maxed out, which is also going to help with the uh, rebounding aspect of the build. And, uh, yeah, that's why the rebounding is so good. The verticals are great, too. The lateral quickness and speed are pretty much just average for centers. Um, you, you'll be able to keep up with most centers in the game, but uh, if you have to guard a guard, um, it's going to be kind of a struggle. And uh, basically, the rest is just stamina and stuff like that. For the height, um, you're going to have to go 7-3, uh, basically just to help the rebounding part of it. You lose quite a bit of things, but it's not really important things, like ball control, speed with ball, passing accuracy, and stuff like that. And you get an increase to defensive and offensive rebound, and dunk, and block, and stuff like that. And obviously, if you're taller, you're going to be closer to the rim to grab more rebounds. So yeah, that's why I went with 7-3 in this build. The wingspan... I'm definitely going to max out because um, you only lose a couple of things, and they're not really important things either. You lose open shot mid-range, dri off-dribble three-pointer, and stuff like that. And you're not really going to take any of those with this build, so might as well uh, increase your contested shot and block. And with longer arms, you can grab rebounds and stuff like that too. All right, on to the weight. This is where a lot of people mess up. A lot of people want to go max weight with their glass cleaner just to like increase the contact dunk, strength, box out and other stuff like that and make them stronger so they won't get bodied in the paint. But, I mean, you really won't get bodied in the paint either way. And you're losing some pretty vital things by uh, upgrading uh, your weight by that much. You're losing speed, acceleration, speed with ball, vertical and lateral quickness. That's kind of a lot. So, in my opinion, I would honestly um, move my weight down to somewhere like 195 to 305, somewhere in between there. I think those are some pretty good weight right there. Mostly because the speed, acceleration, vertical, and all the other stuff don't go down that much. And you're still getting a pretty decent increase to the contact dunk strength and box out. So I would go, I'm going with 295 with my glass. That's honestly what I would choose for you guys too. Shoulder width, def definitely max that out because uh, 
You're going to need to grab some more rebounds, helps with blocking and stuff like that. And the rest of the stuff really doesn't matter. So, uh, yeah, you can choose any of these. So uh, you're going to be 7'3", 295 to 305, somewhere in between there. 91.4 wingspan, 25.2 shoulder width, and yeah, you're pure glass. If any of you guys make this build, tell me how it works. I want to see, I want to get some feedback on my videos. But yeah, I really hope you guys did enjoy the video. Like, comment, subscribe for some more content, and see you guys in another one.